Here are the 10 most important tutorials that you should watch as a beginner on my channel. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer. Let's get started. So watching these videos will give you the fundamentals of understanding Affinity Photo and will make watching all other tutorials a lot easier. Also, I want to point out that you should use the search function on my YouTube channel because I have created over 430 tutorials so you are sure to find a tutorial for almost any topic and if you don't write me a message and I will see if I can create a tutorial for you. So let's get started here with the first video and Affinity Photo is all about the usage of layers. So the first video is 10 things about layers. It will explain to you in very easy words what layers are, how they function, why to use them and how they are so important for Affinity Photos. Now, the second video brings us again to layers and it's called Child Layers Explained. Child Layers are a special way in Affinity Photo to connect layers together and are often used, for example, with adjustment layers, life effect layers, mask layers, all these kind of cool things. So understanding how they work will superpower your ability to use Affinity Photo. The next one is about image layers versus pixel layers. Again, this is very important and a lot of beginners ask me because they are confused by the concept of image layers. So I explain to you what they are what the benefits are and the downsides and how to convert them into a pixel layer if need be. The next one is about what are blend modes. Well, blend modes again are used with layers, how they blend together. And this is so important. You will do this. You will do this thousands of times over your artistic career using Affinity Photo. So understanding them is really important. I explain to you the most important blend modes, what the benefits are and how to use them. The next one is about one of the most important tools for adjustments in Affinity Photo. It's called the Curve Tool Explained. The Curve Tool is used for brightness adjustment, contrast adjustment, color adjustment in Affinity Photo. It's a very universal and very, very useful tool. So understanding how it works and what it does is really important. Check out the video. And it has a second very important mode that is called the lab mode. So my next video is about lab color explained to show you what that mode does, how lab color works and how you can use it for your benefit. And actually lab color is built on how we as humans perceive color. So it is very intuitive to use and it is a very, very easy tool to create amazing and natural looking colors for your photos in Affinity Photo. The next one is called Histogram Explained. The good thing is you already know the histogram from your camera. And the surprising thing here is that the histogram is an amazing way to judge your photos without being dependent on the screen because Every screen shows you a different kind of colors and contrast and brightness, but also when the sun is shining on your screen or when you're sitting in a dark room, you're seeing different versions of your picture. So a histogram will help you really judging what's actually going on in your image. The next one is about color adjustment. So I compare the HSL adjustment with the color balance adjustment and the selective color adjustment. These are three of the most important color adjustment tools in Affinity Photo. So when you understand them, you can superpower your editing process and get the colors right and get beautiful results for your image. Again, check out the video. The next one is called Blend Ranges Explained and is a very hidden tool. It's a little bit more advanced, but still super easy to understand, very easy to use and amazingly powerful. So this is why I find for beginners, it's something you really need to understand and you will use this a thousand times because it is so extremely useful. The last one I want to suggest to you is, of course, sometimes you want to paint something or you want to make a, your own overlay. So you want to choose your own colors and there's different ways to do this. So I explained the different types of color sliders in Affinity Photo because there is more than one way to choose color and you will find out why using these modes is so important and how it makes your life a lot easier. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters and my YouTube channel members for supporting me and making these videos possible. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye. Thank you.